today on Blind Date. I'm a tight little package, and I know I'm cute. One of our loveliest ladies returns. I'm a party girl. And she's too much for just one guy. I don't have boyfriends. I don't want a boyfriend. <laughs> I don't do well with boyfriends. Plus... Once I had sex all day. Is this girl exaggerating? I mean, obviously there are pauses and lunch breaks and stuff like that. It all begins now. I'm on a blind date. What are you doing? You have a piercing in your tongue. <laughs> on Blind Date. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to Blind Day, your season ticket to spectacular dating action. And speaking of which, a little bit later on, we're going to set up one of Blind Date's finest for a second time. Looking forward to that. But first, let's meet Maya and her date, Basilio. Now, Maya claims to have very simple needs. She's looking for a guy with a hard body and nice teeth. So we're going to give her Basilio. He works in a gym and says he wants a girl with a big smile and nice eyes. And there's two more things he prefers. I love feet. I'm not gonna lie, um, I have a foot fetish. I think I'm an old soul. I think I'm really mature for my age. The girls think I'm a player. That's definitely true. Um, because I present myself as that and I look like that, but I'm not. Your looks get you there, but your personality determines your longevity with me. My whole theory is that I can't get an orgasm unless she has one first. Uh, that's something that I definitely go by. Who says chivalry's dead, huh? Good luck, guys. Intelligent, funny, dedicated. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm Maya. Vasilia, give me a hug. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I used to dance hip hop, and also uh, I did a little bit of salsa and merengue. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I just came out here and I've done like a lot of different things. I was dancing actually for a while. That was my major thing that I was into was dancing. Really? Hip hop and salsa and a lot of different things like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So. Oh, I had to teach me some mute moves. Yeah, yeah. I have like two moves I use. But is it the one two step or is Basically, it? Basically. <laughs> like, <laughs> two step. I don't know if I buy into a relationship thing anymore. Hmm. Why is that? Like, I don't know. I just. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really. Have you had a lot of bad experiences? No, I've actually had a lot of. I'm actually friends with every person I've dated. <laughs> Okay. Like, as far as, like, if they call me from home. I'm fun. I'm mellow. I'm you don't really party. look like you have a wild side, though. I do. Really? I do. Yeah, I do. Really? Uh-huh. Hi, how well, are you? Hello there. I'm John Cassessi. Maya. Hi, Maya. Basilio. Hi, Basilio. Yeah. Basilio. There you go. Right. Got it. Maya yeah. and Basilio. <laughs> was fun, even though you punked out. I look for more of it in a relationship as a someone that I can relate to, someone that's a friend first, and then, of course, somebody I can depend on. Right. Uh-oh, busting out. I heard that. I had to. Can't eat with the jack now. What's the freakiest? Oh, let me ask you, what's the freaky no, thing you uh, No, I told him, I talked about myself. You didn't no. let me finish. OK, go ahead. But whatever you're asking me, you got to reverse it back to Stop you. Stop it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not going to. Go ahead. I, no, answer it now. If you, have, if you have an encounter right now that you can think of, you say it, and then I'll, I'll think of something. I'm not even trying to hide the question. I'm trying to think. Once I had sex, all day. 
I mean, obviously there were pauses and lunch breaks and stuff like that, but it was all day. I did, but see, okay. I mean, all day. Are you super freak naturally? Yes, but it takes oh, it takes the right person to bring that out in me. I'm really reserved if I don't if I'm not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? But if, the, if all the right buttons are pressed, stay <laughs> happy. It's out and about, but all day. But it's rare that anyone has can. Uh, What's that? Know, it's rare that anyone gets that out. I really feel like sometimes it's the worst to be a woman. What's that? I really feel like it's just the worst thing in the world to be a woman sometimes. Really? Mm hmm Explain. Like, women are just, I don't know, emotional and needy and attached. We get our, you know, where men, you can hump everybody and not worry about <laughs> one of them. Like, I hope I don't see her ever. Right. You know, like, right. yeah. Right. Women, we'll go out of our way to find you. Like, where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are Why me? I thought we were loud. <laughs> Tell me what you think so far. Hmm? What do you think so far? Uh, <laughs> You're so busy on that, bro. I know, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm a little disappointed. Disappointed in what? The fact that I didn't see you do your daring dance move. I gave you a little taste. No, you I didn't. I did not give you a taste. No, you didn't. I think you're a nice guy. Uh -huh. Really? Uh huh. I think you're a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. And I think you have some priorities, which are good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, listen, let me get your number. Maybe we can like, hang out some time or something. Okay. All right. My tape phone, hello? I'm on a blind date. What are you doing? <laughs> no, are you drunk? Where's your girlfriend? Thank you. No problem. Give your jacket back. All right. You have my number. I have your number. Give me a hug. Give me a kiss. I really enjoyed myself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. You too. All right. Well, I guess that's what happens when a girl thinks you're too nice. She starts setting up some action for later right in front of you. And poor Basilio gets his unconditional release next. Up next. Yeah, I'm a piercing in her tongue. <laughs> Will she add him to her collection? You've never yeah. seen a girl with a tongue ring? I have, actually, but I've never tasted it. That's next. <laughs> From the knock knocks nice to, meet you. to the knockdowns and a blow by blow of everything in between. Be there, blind date. Once I had sex all day. I mean, obviously there were pauses and lunch breaks and stuff like that, but it was all day. I'm really reserved if I don't, if I'm not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? But if, the, if all the right buttons are pressed. <laughs> wow, this girl's raring to go. But unfortunately, my man Basilio won't be pressing any of her buttons. I definitely enjoyed dancing with Basilio, but I must say the dance doctor was definitely more smooth. My first impression of Maya was, wow, she was really attractive. Basilio was, he was too nice. Her comment about being a real nice guy, that's never good. I'm looking for a guy who's a little more rough around the edges and a little edgier. I don't think there'd be a second romantic date, but I think we can hang out as friends. After looking at the whole picture, he was still too nice. So, no second date for Basilio because he was too nice. Women. All right, time to meet a lovely young lady for the second time on our show. And that brings us to Jennifer and her date's villain. Now, on our first date, Jennifer seemed to be a shoe-in with a guy named Johnny. 
I'm a tight little package. I know I'm cute. All right, show me super sexy like you're thinking, damn, Johnny's hot. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You want to switch gum? All right, get here with Got it. I don't think I'm a nice girl. Well, then we got a problem. Obviously, they weren't on the same page, but maybe Jennifer will be more in tune with Svillin. He's a language expert from Europe, and he says that his women have to be intellectual. They have to be like deep and profound and to express the unexpressible. A woman, for me, is a mystery. The type of a girl, type of a woman be genuine, frank and sincere with me and uh, not to flip-flop me. Love me might be just right the corner, you never know. So yeah, what I'm after is uh, just, I'd like to have a good time. Well, if it's a good time old Philly's looking for, I think he's in pretty good shape here. not in the romance thing. It does not do a thing for me. Hello. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Good. How are you? Awesome. What's your name? My name is Svilen. What is it? Svilen. What can I call you? Um, like, try it out. I don't know. Let's see Svilen? what happens. Yeah, Svilen. Svilen? Exactly. Wonderful okay, situation. Where are you from? I'm from... Um, I grew up in Europe, actually. I'm from Bulgaria. I spent my childish years there, and then I studied in Paris and France. Oh, wow. Um, but, yeah. How I, romantic. It is, actually. <laughs> I'm definitely not in the romance thing. It does not do a thing for me. I miss Europe a lot. It's just like it's a magnificent place to be because you have all this past and history there. Mm. And uh, in addition to everything else, I grew up there, you know. So, and I think like my philosophy on life is like you have to be on the road. You have to experience life, and and that's it. Because I mean, I like to read books and stuff like that, watch movies. Who's about, your favorite author? Uh, my favorite author, perhaps Oscar Wilde. You know, there was like this like English poet who says that the, the child is the father to, to man. And that's really true. I'm a party girl. You're a party girl? You mm -hmm. like partying a lot? Mm, a like lot. Meeting different guys. I go out, I don't commit. I don't. You don't commit. I don't have boyfriends. I don't want a boyfriend. <laughs> I don't do well with boyfriends. If, if, you, if, if, you, if you have to, uh, to be with, with one person eventually. No. No? You don't have to be. Like, I know that's what they say. is like, yeah. you need to get married and exactly. have kids in the white picket fence. I think that's a bunch I, of crap. It obviously yeah. hasn't worked. You know, look at the divorce rate. Yeah. So I don't think it's that we should feel the need to like settle down and get married. I think yeah. that's much crap. Like, if I don't find someone, I'm not scared. Yeah. In Europe in general, it, it's... There's more romantic. More romantic, but... I is it romantic. It's crap. <laughs> not like... The, rom <laughs> the romantic is crap to you? It's boring. It's boring. Boring. You have a piercing in your tongue? Yeah, don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> You've never See? seen a girl with a tongue ring? Um, I have, actually, but okay. I've never tasted um, a, a girl with, like, with piercing a tongue ring. Tongue. Yeah. Yeah. You're very, like, deep, to put it uh, easily, like, put it plainly, or, like, deep. It's like yeah, everything's just some big philosophy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to tie in. It's, yeah. No, it's really neat. You're, like the best way to describe it, it's like you're romantic. Like you, 
You, uh, you take it everything for more than what it is, which is good. Yeah. No, it's good. Like I like to think a lot, yeah. From what you know of me now, do you think from, I'm your type? From what I know from you right, right now, I just think that... I don't know, but I'd love to get to know you better, because you never know. Sometimes, in, in some relationships, you just, like, give yourself some time, you know? You might be friends with somebody, and this might grow up to something else. I don't think we have the same chemistry, though. I think we're two different compounds. Absolutely different. Like, you're bleach and I'm ammonia. <laughs> like, you can't mix the two. You, <laughs> you make bad fumes. <laughs> You're a hopeless romantic. You know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna find another girl. There's hopeless romantic girls out there. Uh, I know. American ones. I know American girls, yeah. That uh, aren't into just money and partying. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Oh, Thank you too. again for a great date. Thanks a lot. I wish you the best. Yeah, me too. Take care. Have a good night. Oh boy, looks like old Feely had a rough intro to dating American party girls. And we'll let these two rip into each other when we come back. Coming up. I'm not gonna say I don't like it rough, because I do. Some girls aren't all sugar and spice. I will try anything once, <laughs> that's why I'm here, right? True confessions. You are the fuck. You're up on stage. to be with, with one person eventually. No. No? You don't have to be. Like, I know that's what they say. Is like, yeah. you need to get married and exactly. have kids and the white picket fence. I think that's a bunch of crap. Well, isn't she a hopeless romantic? And speaking of hopeless, so are their chances for a second date. My first impression of Spielen was that he was not my type. She's a bad girl, and respectively like to have a conversation with a bad guy. I like uh, tattooed boys, guys that are a little a little more muscular. I'm just a good guy. I like dating dumb guys. I hardly believe that she has a deeper side for the time being. I'm definitely not in the romance thing. It does not do a thing for me. She just, she's not for me. I'm cheap tequila and he's fancy red wine. And I think we all know what happens when you mix tequila and wine. <laughs> I'll never forget that night. All right, coming up, a woman who's up for anything, and I do mean anything, her true confession is on the way. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. Thanks for watching.